This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to bring you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. Today we're going to start looking in the book of James. The book of James deals with a lot of personal and collective church issues. It tells us in the book of James that he's writing this book to the people of God scattered abroad. Listen to some of the issues that the church and people were dealing with that caused him to write this. So the people of God were dealing with personal conflict, temptations. Temptations are what we have when we are dealing with the inner turmoils of life. Temptations because of our flesh, maybe it's the enemy of our soul, Satan, maybe because we are enticed to, to do certain things that we know God doesn't want us to do. The other thing is testing. Testings happen on the outside, external pressures, situations beyond our control. We're being tested. Other things that the people of God were dealing with was positioning in the church. They were fighting each other for political positioning within the house of God. Some people in the church were struggling with controlling their tongue. They were having issues saying things that were in a Christian-like manner. Other people were having issues with falling away from church. People were leaving the church. They were going back to their lifestyle. Other people were having issues with favoring the rich over the poor, and you had some of the members of the church that were being oppressed by the rich. So you had a lot of strife, social economic issues that the people of God were fighting. There was a lot of injustice in the land, and James was dealing with all these issues. Sound familiar? We are still dealing with these same issues 2,000 years later because technology changes but we are still human beings, still dealing with sin, a fallen world, and our own humanity. But there's a common thread throughout all these issues and problems in the book of James. That common thread is spiritual immaturity. It was the issue that James was dealing with in this book. You see, when we are self-centered Christians, if there is such a thing, we will look at for ourselves, we'll say things we wouldn't want to say, we'll do things we don't want to do. And so as we explore the book of James, just keep in mind that we are all battling the battle to grow in our faith in Jesus Christ. So as we look at the book of James together and we explore the subject of spiritual maturity, are you hungry to grow in your walk with God? Can we make a commitment together to say, I'm not happy with where I am. Thank God I'm not what I used to be, but I wanna press on to be all that I can be for the glory of God and being a blessing to other people. Let's not be satisfied with the status quo in ourselves right now, but God's calling all of us, no matter the issue, no matter our problem, no matter what we're facing, let's handle that with Christian maturity. Let's grow in our faith with God. And so today, Let's do a little extra so that we can grow into spiritual maturity because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. God bless.